gentlemen welcome back to another episode of skyrim no fast travel challenge i'm adam wolf and uh it has been a few months i know i know i know i'm always going in and out of this this game but uh yeah i think i think it's about time we get back into it as usual um i don't remember what i was doing <laughs> ah here we go Alduin's Bane, read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. To cast Alduin forward into our time by the Nord heroes of old. If Parthenax is right, if I read it near the Time Wound, I will get a vision of the past when the ancient Nords use the Dragon Wren shout against Alduin. Ah, right, we are actually trying to make sure we get Dragon Wren. We're trying to learn how to how to use Dragon Wren. <clears throat> so, yes, it's been a while, and uh, by the time you guys see this, I will have put out, I will finally have put out episode 53? I don't remember, it's, it's an episode, I'm pretty sure it's 53, where for some reason, I rendered it, edit, well, edit it, render it. Uh, I'm not sure if I have a thumbnail for it yet, but I've done literally everything except upload it because I'm just being lazy about it. Oh, we go all the way back to Parthenax. Ah, gotcha. Um, and so I haven't, I, it's because I have to update my website to include the new episode, which is super easy, and I just, I got lazy with it. But have no fear. Things will be ready by the time this episode comes out, for sure. No, MCM, you're not supposed to ruin my videos. <sighs> MCM popped up on the top left. So how have you guys been? I have missed playing this game. I always do. I always miss playing it, but I always stop playing it for some reason. I think it's because every single time I go to uh, record it, I'm always thinking, oh man, I should have a separate computer to record it with, and blah, 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 blah. I'm always coming up with some stupid excuse. Like right now, I've swapped back to just using one computer, because this computer can stream at 1080p 60 and record at 1080p60 at the same time. At a quality that I deem worthy. But. For some reason. My smaller computer that I built. For streaming purposes. Cannot. Go figure. <clears throat> so unfortunately. I've swapped back. But that's why I'm also playing when I restart the Fallout 4 No Fast Travel Challenge <laughs> for the second time. Um, I will be playing it on PlayStation. Even though they haven't updated it for some reason, Fallout 4 is the one game they decided not to update. But they've updated ESO, Skyrim, you know, some of their big titles. Obviously, Skyrim was a far bigger title than Fallout 4, but, I mean, Fallout 4 is still... People love it. So, it's like... You know, what the hell? Let's let's update Fallout 4 to at least run at 60 FPS on the new systems, but new. No. All I'm hoping is that Fallout 4 runs better on the PS5 in terms of... Just stable frame rate. I don't care if it's not if it's high frame rate or not. I care that it's stable. That is what matters. Now this game right now I'm playing it at 60 frames a second. I tried unlocking the frame rate, but the special edition I forgot is actually much more difficult. 
even if you turn off V-Sync, it doesn't change its frame rate because it, well, the physics engine loses its mind if you go beyond 60. But there are mods. There are mods that you can use to unlock it because I have a new 120 hertz monitor. And it doesn't seem to be holding a solid 60 right now. It, it, it drops from time to time. And I think that's mostly because... Let's see, we got to go where? We got to go all the way back up to Parthenax. So that was... Uh, we have to go to here. Iverstead. So I have to take a left here. Um, that's why I generally, when I'm playing this game on PC, I tend to cap the frame rate at 30, F 30 FPS and then crank the graphics all the way up because the astute eyed among you might have actually noticed the shadows wiping in. Yeah. Yeah, that's because I changed, I dropped the graphics down to high settings, high preset. But I put the shadow quality all the way up. So the shadows look nice, but <laughs> they're wiping in. But, oh well. I might actually just do that again. I thought I might be able to play at 60 FPS without much of a problem, but uh, I'm I'm seeing it. I don't even need a frame rate counter to see it. It's pretty obvious. I'll drop it down to 30, have it more consistent, and crank the graphics all the way back up. That way the view distance is also maxed out as far as it can go. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. So, um, I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. It was a quick changeover. No big deal. But I at least, I want the best quality for my videos. And, well, that means if I got to cap the frame rate at 30 on PC, then, well, damn it, I'm going to do it. Got a little bit of a stutter there. Probably loading some stuff in. I forgot to I forgot to say, uh, you know, grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Got myself a nice, cool glass of water. <clears throat> I have very very minimalist when it comes to the mods that I have installed. Primarily have, uh, I have some graphical mods. You can even see the shadows still just kind of wiping in it, it. It's a bit distracting, I'm not gonna lie. I am not sure if that's a side effect of the Skyrim Flora overhaul mod or not. You can see the ambient occlusion, I believe is what that is. Or the self-shadowing just kind of fades in like that. I will say, though, that if there's one game that gives me super nostalgic factors, or factors, feelings, it's this game right here. Not just with the look of it, but also the music. It's very iconic. Very iconic. Reminds me of when the game came out. I actually, I don't know if I've told this story already. I mean, it's been over 50 episodes and they've been spread out for a very, over a very long period of time. So I don't know. But what I do know is that I remember what I was doing on the day this game released. I actually was, uh, I went to a minute release of it. Got the collector's edition the 
one of a few collector's editions I've ever gotten because they're usually extremely expensive and back when collector's editions came with the game now you get collector's editions where it's just all the fun fun stuff all the extra stuff with no game which I find absolutely ab abhorrent egregious if you will it's stupid it's the dumbest idea anybody's ever had oh let's just sell the collector's edition with no game in it like that's the whole reason people are buying it is to play the game the collector's edition should come with extra stuff plus game not minus game that's so it's so stupid oh that's right we can also actually just Read the uh, road signs. Boom. We're on the right track. But I mean, who who reads road signs anymore? Let's be honest. So yeah, went to a midnight release, got the collector's edition. It was awesome. I've got Alduin on my on my shelf. He's a little dusty. I'm going to need to get like a can of air or multiple cans of air or something. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm like, you're just a random mage that's going to attack me? Like, what did I do to you? What did I do? Yeah, I mean, you can't. You're not going to survive against my follower here at all, ever. Nobody can. I honestly don't know what the mage wanted. I don't recall doing anything against the mages that was considered unpleasant. I've been to the College of Winterhold. I don't recall attacking anybody, but hey. Who knows? Oh, what the hell is this? Again, Red Guard. Wow, I, I have almost never block. How is it that I've... I've increased myself so much, and yet... Here we are. I'm still damn near getting killed by a red guard. What is that all about? Oh my god, and there's a bear. What is this episode? I have to come up with an episode name of like, everybody hates me. Maybe hating on the dragonborn or something like that. <laughs> like, they just all want to kill me for some reason. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I mean, yeah, sure, I joined the Stormcloaks, but I don't think the Red Guard have a problem with that or even should concern themselves with it. And certainly the bears don't have a problem with it because they don't know what it is. There might be some visual glitches in this game right now. I did just have to reinstall some of the mods because it's been a while since I fired any of them up, so they needed updates. Well, for some reason, Vortex doesn't just have an update thing built in. I don't get it. Like, it makes you go to the website, download the mod again, the newer version of it, and then just update the files or something like that. I don't know why Vortex doesn't just have something built in to do that to automatically pull the files from the website because that's what you do anyway. You open the file you want, you say download with manager, and then it just opens it up in manager. I don't know, it's just little things like that, man. You can't, you can't overlook that. 
something as simple as just click a button and download it through the manager because that's what I'm going to do anyway. No. They have to open the website first for some reason. As I ever stood this way. Another bear. What is happening right now? Why are these bears on the road? They shouldn't be on the road. This is ridiculous. These bears shouldn't be on the road. Why are you on the road, bear? I'm not even going to bother. They always say, oh, the safest route is the road. Stick to the road, you'll live longer. And then you come across a bear. And there ain't no friendly bears. Yogi the bear doesn't exist in this game. Where all they do is just steal your picnic. Oh my god, there's a spider on the road. Oh my god, I mean, seriously. Nope, a couple, of course they come in pairs. There we go. Good lord. Maybe I'll call this episode Surviving the Roads. Surviving the Journey. I don't know. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I expected maybe bandits or... I don't know, more assassins come to kill me, but this is getting out of hand now. They're just being silly at this point. Oh, okay. It's a bit disappointing that uh, controller doesn't have... Oh. Controller doesn't have a way to do auto run, as far as I understand. In this game, that's a keyboard only thing. What? Wait, I went all the way out here to go to Iverstead when I could have just gone to. Oh, man. Alright, well, this journey just became longer than it needed to be. That's why I look at the map. Never follow the road signs, there's always a shorter path. started looking at PC parts again I could easily get the case for like 50 bucks it's like a hundred dollar case or something like that it's it's the Corsair 4000 D and I, th I think I actually got the airflow variant um, is I ever stood this way yeah um, and I got like a $50 it wasn't even a gift card. It was like a Visa card. For being like employee of the quarter or something at one point. So I applied it to my new egg account. And uh, that'll be used to go towards uh, maybe the case. Get the case for 50 bucks instead of 100 Save myself some money on that at least. Are you going to attack me too or are you just going to hide in a bush? Oh, you went through the bush. But graphics cards are still... I mean, I could order one directly from AMD. I actually am going to go... See, even even maxed out graphics. Look. That shadow's wiping in. I guess it really doesn't matter what I do. Shadows are always going to wipe in, like, right in front of me. No, you sound like everybody else. <laughs> um, I could order one directly from AMD... I was going to go with the 6900 XT, but now they got the 6950 XT for just a few, like a couple hundred more dollars. And if I'm already going to pay like a thousand dollars for the 6900, might as well go up to the 6950. I'm not sure what's so special about it. I Actually, I might not. I don't know. Because, again, look, I'm pretty sure Linus Tech Tips or DF or Digital Foundry did like a comparison of like, wow, this 6950 is really not that better, not that much better than the freaking 6900. Like, not by that much. Not enough to justify paying a couple hundred dollars more. 
which I'd be like, okay, well, I might actually just go with the 6900 XT. Or, apparently, wait for the next set of graphics cards if they are reasonably priced. No doubt the scalpers will try to uh, ruin that, too. Because NVIDIA has already announced, I think they've announced, or it's been speculated that there's a 4,000 lineup, a 4,000 series GPU coming. Where the, like, mid-range, not mid-range, but, like, the popular mid-tier, like, 700 series, so, like, 4,700, will be just as powerful as a 3090. Like, what? Or 3080 or something? Like, one of the top-tier cards. And boy, oh boy, is that ever disappointing. Because the set, the 7... What was it? Or no, 4070, sorry. The 70 series, not 700. That's AMD's deal. Um, the 70 series, so 40, 4070, usually goes for... I mean, let's see, the 3070, I think, was originally priced at... Four or five hundred dollars, something like that. That's MSRP. So if you've got a forty seventy going for essentially the same price, you've effectively cut the price in half to get equivalent power to a thirty eighty or thirty ninety. Thirty eighty, I think, is eight hundred dollars. But like, or if it goes as high as a thirty ninety, I mean, come on, dude. Just sell the 3090 at 800 or at uh, $700 or $500 or whatever. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, calm down, Iverstead guard. You, you guard a couple of houses. Do you know who I am? I am the Dragonborn. So yeah, I'm looking at stuff again. Now, what I could do, here's what I could do. I could get the new motherboard and CPU. Well, I already have the CPU. Get the new motherboard in case, and then just transfer over the RAM and what have you, uh, which would save me some money, actually quite a bit. <clears throat> I absolutely definitely need the motherboard. Don't need the case. I could use the old case, but I'm not going to do that. So I'll get the case and the motherboard. I think the motherboard is... What I, which one am I looking forward to get? Uh, it's definitely a black and white motherboard because the case is white. And I'm trying to match the PS5 and the you know new, uh, new computer. You know, go with a black and white theme. It just looks clean, you know? Um... So we'll go with that. Uh, so I could get that. I've already got the CPU. Obviously, I'd be using the 1660 Super. I think at this point, the majority of the issues that I have playing modern games probably stems from my CPU. Because we're talking about a Ryzen 7 1700. The first generation of Ryzen CPUs. I'm still rocking that thing. And at this point, it's actually much better at it being a production CPU than anything else. Because I'm also still running it with 2400 megahertz RAM, which is not great. Not for a Ryzen CPU that relies on faster RAM. So... Needless to say, uh, I'm in desperate need of an upgrade. We're talking six years now. I've had this CPU, I think. 2016, I think is when it came out. Yeah. It's old. It's old at this point. It's still going to be rocking as my uh, streaming slash video editing computer. For sure. It's really good at doing all that. And I probably would never, won't have to ever like replace it as that, to be fair, because 
Twitch only allows 1080p60, and they haven't boosted their bitrate in 10 years. That's an over-exaggeration, obviously. But it sure as hell feels like a long time. Um, so I can easily do that, and I can easily record. So, I'm not worried about any of that. That CPU can handle that, no problem. I mean, for God's sake, it renders a two-hour video in, like, 15 minutes max. Maybe 20. So, I, I'm, I'm pretty set on this, the front of uh, rendering and whatnot. But I do think the CPU is holding back a lot of my gaming potential, a lot of the performance potential. What I so what I'm thinking is I get the key the uh, case and motherboard, put in the new CPU, take the RAM out of the old or the uh, smaller streaming computer that I built, which sucks. Use that RAM because that RAM is three thousand, three thousand megahertz, and. You know, take this the power supply. Like I've got everything that I need. The only other thing I want to get is the uh, SSD. I want to get a brand new Western Digital 850 SN850. I believe is uh, is the model. Considered to be one of the best fourth gen PCI SSDs out there. I want to get one for my PS5. Get a one terabyte extra space for my PS5, and uh, do a. 500 gig for my gaming rig, my new gaming rig, because all my games are stored on a hard drive. I know, I know. It's quite crappy, but hear me out. It's mass storage. And SSD uh, prices haven't, they've come down a lot. But to get an equivalent, I think it's like four terabyte. To get an equivalent four terabyte SSD compared to a hard drive would cost a fortune for me. I mean, an eight terabyte M.2 costs, I think, $800. That's in M.2 form. An eight terabyte two and a half inch, I don't know, they rarely exist. They do exist, but they're, you know, you gotta look for them. Uh, probably similar pricing. Six to eight hundred dollars there. So yeah. I guess you could say it's like a hundred dollars per terabyte. So that makes sense. That's where I when I got my first three hundred gig external drive. Oop. Uh oh, this way. This way? Oh, no, no, no. I gotta go that way. That was back in 2006. 2006, 2007. Something like that. It cost me like $300. Because it, it was a dollar a gig. That hard drive, I think I still have. But I, I broke it. Because I need, I need to... Oh, what the... Um... Where do I go? I didn't break it on purpose. I was transferring data and it was on a laptop. I was sitting on my bed and I went to go get up and I accidentally pushed down on the cable and pulled the cable out of my laptop while I was transferring data. And back then we didn't really, there weren't too many fail safes. So if you did something like that, it pretty much said it was, it was pretty much bye bye for that hard drive. And it was. Oh, that's right. We've got this. Uh, clear skies. That's what we need. Right? Am I going to get hurt here? Oh, here, here, here. There you go. It sucks that we have to do this again, but oh well. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, that kind of scared me. 
the first time I did it there. I scared myself a little bit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I get it. I got too close. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes where it starts. <clears throat> keep running so yeah I think I still have that hard drive because I don't know maybe I don't there was there was um, there was schoolwork on there that I really wanted to keep some projects I was really proud of I don't know if I still have it though I brought it to uh, I think Best Buy which was not the right place to bring it to and they said it was going to cost me like $400 to get it recovered. And I'm like, wow, really? That was scummy. But, you know, as <laughs> as I got older and I, I learned a few things here and there, I learned that data recovery is not easy. They basically have to be able to read the drive. Or figure out how to read the drive, I should say. So, yeah, it's it's not cheap data recovery, but hey, if you can get into it, it's very profitable. Like I said, three four hundred dollars just for them to try and recover my work. Imagine if that was like a terabyte drive. I tried to recover it myself, but it just didn't work. Nothing worked. The drive basically seized up and all it did was click. It's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? If I still have it, uh, it's probably in storage. If I still have it, I might have given up and just thrown it out, but... That would have been... Not exactly the right thing to do. I do. The Kel, the Elder Scroll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are my subtitles off? What happened? Dialogue subtitles. Everything's on. I guess it's just not something you can see. The question is, is it going to be like one of those things where I just get to it and... Alright. So, how do I read the Elder Scroll? Oop, I didn't want to do that. Key item? Oh, name, there we go. It's not here. I got a lot of rubies. Is it a weapon? Well, no, it'd be probably in here. Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Read it. Oh, my name, oh, Yes. We're gonna have Dragon Ren. Hello. Today Alduin's lordship will be restored. I actually don't even remember this. But I honor your courage. Creek Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. Glory 
glorious day, is it not? Are these the companions? <laughs> what else is there? Battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? <clears throat> he staked everything on this plan. Because he's scared. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? Oh, that's uh That's the voice of the guy who does the leader of the Empire. Uh, Empire's army. I think. Maybe not. They did not have dragon lands. Once we bring him down, I call it. I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. But you have to. I never agreed. If you are right, <laughs> I will not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Me. Tarmudis. Ah, me. Him hind pali. Fuku ida. Let those that watch from Sovngarde envy us this day. So Dragon They didn't have the subtitles on, uh, could barely even hear the guy. If I die today, it will not be in terror. Oh, not by you. Oh, now you say use the scroll. Hold all of the wings. Sister Hawk, grant us your sacred breath to make this contract heard. Be gone, world eater. By word with older bones than your own, we break your curse on this age and send you out. You are your buddy's dying, man. We count you out from all our endings until the last. Okay. What about your friend there? She got tossed. You did it. <coughs> yes. The world eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. <coughs> I'm I'm fading away, man. Oh my god, is this like the end of the game? Oh, hey. My belly is full of the souls of your fellow mortals, Dovahkiin. Die now and await your fate in Sovngarde. You are oh. oh, calm down. Well, I do know it because I just learned it. Where are the shouts? There they are. You have to favorite that. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I hit him. There you are. 
Come here, guy. I'm pretty sure that he is not going to die here because... Dude, I had no idea I was actually going to be facing him. I'm not going to lie. I love the fact that Parthenax is actually facing... I hate the fact that there's no freaking music, though. Dude. I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't die. He will... He will kind of, like, leave. Ooh. Had the rock recover. Here, let's, uh... Do the healing thing. Obviously, I don't have. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, he leaves and I have to face him in, like, Sovereign Guard or something like that. In Valhalla. Ow. Wait, did I get hit by one of his fireballs? I must have, yeah. Yeah, that was something falling from the sky. It wasn't... I thought it was Parthenax. It was not. What the... Can you get down here? Or... I... I can't really target him. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Like, I am pretty good the first time. Get down here, stupid. Where's the music, man? The epic fighting music. It doesn't exist. Ow. I didn't think I was gonna freaking be at the end of the game. Oh, no, no, dude, we're almost maxed out with the freaking. Mm. Damn it. Ow. Oh, Parthenax. Really? Really? Really, my guy? Come on now. I don't think I hit him with that either. Oh, man. I totally didn't expect to actually be like... Got him. Totally didn't expect to be fighting Alduin right now. I mean, I knew that I had to learn Dragon Red, but that's the, that's what I thought I was doing. No, I'm learning Dragon Red and then fighting Alduin. Uh... Fire Breath. There you go. My defiance of who? You? There's no defying you. You silly. Alright, extreme healing. There we go. Got him. Don't worry. Ow! Are you kidding? Those are probably ones that I made myself. Yeah, you think? Could you stop with the, the meteors, please? I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, he stopped it. That's pretty funny. He did it when I asked him. Yes, I know. Believe me, I know. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you. Kind of, kind of slid right to me here. Weird. So I have to either talk to Parthenax, Arangar, or Espern. Why one or the others? That doesn't make sense to me. What are those shoes? I don't remember those boots. Damn it, I keep I keep doing this. Alright, hold on. Hmm. Oh. That's what those are. Trolls Bane heavy boots. Now here's the thing. I did not oh, come here. Hey! Stop! Don't 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 do this. Don't glitch out, please. I, I want to talk to you. I don't want to have to travel all the way. Stop it. What are you doing? Stop moving. Lot Congrach. You 
truly have the voice of a Dova. Yes. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Nili Vrachim Moro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pahlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Nice. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. <coughs> a fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Okay. The Jarl of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm. Yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Yeah, but they don't like me now. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon. Yes. I mean, it's called this Dragon's ages Reach. ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the mm, Akaniri Bruniki. came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. Well, that's unfortunate. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet. Pa. The Hopkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever <clears throat> since. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Did I do these already? Oh, yeah, I already did them. Sum Ark Mora. Okay. All right. We faced Alduin. The first fight. But here's here's the long journey back down. Uh, world map. Yeah, you can see, obviously, we joined the storm close and we destroyed Dragon's Reach. The Jarl is just there as our... I don't know what we call him. Servant. I forgot what they call that. That's um, it's like a servant jarl, or like you know, if there was a king, it'd be not a false king, but I don't know. He's basically there just to watch over White Run, and that's a very different take on the game. I usually don't. I mean, I I thought I had to join a side, but I don't. I don't think. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Didn't have to join the Stormcloaks or the Empire. But I normally join the Empire. Which is funny because I am to the teeth a freaking rebel. If we're talking like Star Wars. If we are talking Star Wars, I'm all about the rebel life. So you'd think I'd immediately go for Stormcloaks in this game, but no, I've usually always gone the Empire because Whiterun stays intact and it stays as a location you can fast travel to. Obviously, it doesn't matter for this series because we're not fast traveling, but in a regular playthrough, yeah, it, I mean, it's there for, for a reason. It allows me to fast travel. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure, um... Let's see, I think the first playthrough that I finished was 28 hours tops. So if you just go right through... Oh no, I played for... Tw I played up until level 28, I should say. Not 28 hours. I can't remember my first playthrough length. I want to say 30 hours, I think, at least, give or take. But I finished it at level 28, so it's... It's possible to finish the game at a pretty low level. But... I mean, that's no fun. But I did say, you know, it's this is all pretty much just... So, uh, am I gonna get hurt here? No, okay. Um, you know, if we finish the game, if we finish the main story in a certain amount of episodes, then we move on and do a bunch of side stuff. Until we reach 100. And there's plenty of side stuff to do. I mean, there, there is the whole civil war. You know, I've already chosen the Stormcloaks this time, so... After the main campaign is done, we can go through the Stormcloak... ...missions, or just pick anything from our journal, as you can see. We've got quite the extensive journal. There's a lot. Our journal is chock full of stuff. Look at this. Look at all this. It's ridiculous. And I got all that because I thought I had to. Or at least... I didn't really have... A... Time frame for this series. I I thought it, would, it could literally just keep going. So I'd almost never... Until I finished everything, of course. But that would take a long time. Um... So I would almost never move on to Fallout. So I'm like, I gotta find a limitation for these for this series. And so I said, 100 episodes. We get 100 episodes in. We finish the main story first. And then, if we finish the main story within a certain amount of time, then we do side stuff. Because, let's be honest, this game and Fallout both have quite extensive side things to do. Like a lot. <laughs> they have a lot to do. So, I mean, back in the day, 2011, this game was, uh, they were touting 300 hours, and back then that was a lot in 2011, which is kind of nuts to think about that that's a lot. But now we've got games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which basically could take your entire life away from you. Not like literally, but I mean, I mean, my brother's put in 400 hours into that game. Just that game. It's an Assassin's Creed game. They used to have an end. <laughs> but they don't anymore. You know, they keep breathing new life into these games. They just released a 60 FPS update for Assassin's Creed Origins, which is like, in my opinion, the best looking Assassin's Creed game. The last great Assassin's Creed game. Or the last good Assassin's Creed game. Not great. It was yeah, I liked it a lot, but it was only good. The greatest one of all is Assassin's Creed 2. But And that is not up for a debate. But yeah, now we got games where three hundred hours is a joke. Whereas back in 2011, it, it was pretty unheard of, actually. I mean, back when Final Fantasy X came out on PS2, they were like, oh, yeah, this game could take you, like, 72 hours. And people were like, what? 72 hours? That's insane. And I recently finished up Assassin's Creed Valhalla at, like, 90. So, yeah. But you got to think that you got to put the time period into perspective Final Fantasy X was 2001, 2002. Skyrim was 2011. So, I mean, games were not 72 hours in the early 2000s all the time. I mean, I remember doing a live stream of playing the Power Rangers game on Super Nintendo. 
it was an emulator, but I still played it. it. Took me like two hours. Apparently, the new Turtles game, Shredder's Revenge, is also only like two hours. But you know, I mean, there's so much more you can do with it, though. You can just play with your friends. It could be you have friends over, and it's like couch co-op. Ah, oh, just like the old days. I unfortunately do not have four controllers. I've got two good controllers and one one with stick drift. That I might actually sacrifice, and I say sacrifice not intentionally, but maybe in an attempt to fix the stick drift. I found a, a video where uh, it can be done. It just requires cleaning. So yeah, I had to find, I almost forgot what, I, what my point was. I had to find a reason or a way to limit the series to a certain length. Otherwise it could just keep going on forever. And so I have decided 100 episodes in case you guys forgot. Or you're new to the channel. This is like the first episode you're seeing. 100 episodes max. Have to beat the game. And then we can do side stuff. And if a side stuff takes me 100 episodes, great. If it doesn't, great. But I believe it will with the games that I have in mind. I mean, Skyrim has been the first one, and it's taken me over three years to do it because I just there was a big hiatus in the middle for no reason. I mean, I, I thought I was moving, and then I ended up not moving out. This is like prior to, like a lot of episodes were recorded back when I was still living at home. And then there was one point where I thought I was going to be ready to move out. So I was going to have to pack things up and everything. And so I just stopped recording. Because I didn't want to have to have everything set up, record, and then take it down and set, you know, whatever. It was just a stupid, stupid decision. And I basically spent <clears throat> two years not making an episode or something like that. You'll see the gap in the uh, time frame when you... Uh, take a look at when the episodes were put out ah <sighs> all right back down on the ground away from the cold let's head back <clears throat> there actually was one time I think it was, I think I had a week off or something like that, or I took a week off, and I said, if I can do multiple, if I can record multiple episodes in a day, you know, two, three episodes in a day, no, it wasn't a week off, I was just, I was just, like, speculating over the, the length of a month, this was prior to, like, I wanted to, I think it was actually last year, where I wanted to finish Skyrim No Fast Travel Challenge before the end of the year. I was like, that's my, that's my goal. End of the year, it's done. Well, that didn't happen, clearly. <clears throat> and here we are, continuing on. Easily the longest running series I've had on my channel ever. There's no doubt about that. I have I don't recall <clears throat> doing a series that's a hundred episodes long. And here we go. Oh, he was going after the rabbit. How dare you? That poor bunny. I was gonna save it. So, easily the longest running series I've had. There were times where, like I said, it stopped, but it didn't. I didn't quit on it. I definitely wanted to keep keep it going. But I'm gonna definitely now that I'm gonna be going no mods with Fallout. 
because I, I like my trophies. We got to go this way. I like my trophies. Though, because I want these uh, recordings to be clean, I'm going to turn the notifications for trophies off. <clears throat> um, just like I do with this game on here on Steam, where I've got the notifications for achievements off and the Steam overlay is just turned off while I'm recording. Uh, I think I'll be able to stick to it a lot better because I just, I, I don't know, I like console. I love my console. And I would rather just play this on PlayStation because I don't have any complications with it. It's just set in its ways. It's set to a certain graphics settings and all that nonsense. And the game just plays. As the great Todd Howard would say, it just works. And that's very true for a lot of a lot of games on console. Whereas as you know, you saw at the beginning of the episode, hey, I'm running it at 60, but it's not consistent. And the graphics aren't maxed out. So I guess I'll just max the graphics, cap the frame rate. And it's cool to have that option, but at the same time, if I want to play it at 60, I should be able to. But I think I've I've another rabbit died right from what is going on? This is a weird episode. Ooh. What did you what did you bite at? My stench? Um So You know, I I've had to come to terms with the fact that my CPU probably just isn't good anymore. And I do think it's the deciding factor because it's a 1660 Super. It's not the most powerful graphics card in the world, but it's definitely not an old one either. Not really that old. <clears throat> not as old as my 1060. So I've got a Ryzen 5 5600X sitting in the closet in its box waiting to be used. I chose the 5600X because it was, at that time that it came out, was the best bang for your buck gaming CPU. <clears throat> and that's what it's going to be used for. It's going to be used for gaming only. It's not really going to be used for editing or rendering or anything like that. That's what my current rig that I'm playing on is going to be used for. Is that white run? Yes, okay, that's white run. That's what this rig will be used for. And we're going to be running on Linux. That's that's the big difference right there. That's the biggest difference, I think, with my new rig. Is oh, Here we go. All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. <laughs> Do I look like I have money? Yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. I'm not going to ask again. <sighs> oh man, it's always fun when one of you idiots comes up to me and tries to steal from me. Anyway, as I was saying, I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be switching over to Linux. More specifically, I, I was like, okay, I want to do Fedora Linux because it's the one I'm familiar with from back in the day. While I'm not super familiar with it now, it's the one I learned on back in, in school. And I just enjoyed it more. Um, but then I remembered, oh, that's right, Steam OS is a thing. So I'll basically make my own Steam machine. Because that is predominantly what I play on right now. I play on Steam... For the most part, I do have Origin and, you know, all this other stuff, but, I mean, I don't really play a lot of games on either of those systems or those launchers. I have a lot of games in Steam. Plus, Steam, Steam has the Proto, uh, Proton layer, so 
if I feel the need to play anything else, I should be able to do it using the proton layer. Anything that isn't native to SteamOS. You know, and the, uh, the new Steam Deck runs SteamOS, and it's proving to be quite the powerful little handheld. And the SteamOS is probably one of the major factors of that. Because if you install Windows on it, it runs like crap. That's been proven. Windows does not run very well on the Steam Deck. Because it wasn't built for it. So I figure I'll use SteamOS because it's Linux based. And it's a, while not a modular operating system, it is a operating system that is built to do what its intention is, which is to play games. So yeah, I basically build my own, uh, I, I was gonna say be building, I basically be building my own Steam machine. But I do want an AMD graphics card because that's why I'm waiting for the graphics cards because while I could use my 1660 Super and NVIDIA's gotten better about supporting Linux, AMD has actually kind of supported Linux for a very long time now compared to NVIDIA. And AMD drivers, they have native drivers, whereas NVIDIA, I believe you have to like have, you know, do workarounds just to get it to work, which is not very user friendly. So, but if I install something like SteamOS, it's probably already set up for it, so probably wouldn't have to worry about it. Either way, I'm done with Windows. I definitely don't think I mentioned that in the last episode or any, any episodes prior to this, but I after Windows 11 came out and after what we found out we had to do in order to actually use Windows 11, I was immediately done. I'm done with Microsoft. I'm done with their the way that they handle their releases with Windows. I don't know why it couldn't just be a simple upgrade. No, instead you have to actually jump through hoops. You have to basically essentially buy a whole new machine. Like for a lot of people who don't build computers themselves, they go to Best Buy, they pick out their computer from that selection. You, They are essentially, if they have an old, like, only a couple year old machine that doesn't have a TPM chip in it which is most of them and most people don't even know what that is then they literally have to buy a whole new computer which is a waste of money when their current machine is only a couple years old that's wrong that's wrong on so many levels and Microsoft should be ashamed of themselves for what they're doing they're basically, <clears throat> because they are like, oh, well, we, we care about your security. So in order to use Windows 11 and for Windows 11 to be more secure, you're going to, it requires a TPM chip. And like I said, most users don't even know what that is. Obviously, I do. And I know that neither of my computers that I built has a TPM chip on the motherboard because they're that old. I mean, hell, that streaming computer I built isn't even that old. That one's, I mean, it's probably going on maybe four years old, I think. Maybe less than that, but it's old enough to not have a TPM chip in it. So... For the general consumers, I feel bad for the general consumers. People who don't know what that is, and they're like, well, why can't I use Windows 11? Because eventually they're going to have to upgrade their computer just to use Windows. They could keep using Windows 10, but eventually Windows 10 won't have support. It eventually will be dropped, and they'll be kind of SOL, which is not fair. That's not fair to the customer. So that's why I'm I'm finally, after all these years of all this talk about going to Linux and everything, I'm finally going to Linux. 
granted it's not full Linux, I'm still kind of debating on whether I should do SteamOS or just go with Fedora Linux. Because Fedora would give me an opportunity to relearn commands and stuff like that and learn relearn Linux. Because I think it'd be fun. SteamOS would just be the quicker solution so I can just get it installed and get gaming. I worry about the other settlements in the hold. Unwalled, likely manned. Find targets for scan. So I'm still kind of, you know, I still got some time because I, uh, I'm still waiting on the AMD cards because I'd rather have an AMD card anyway. I want my system to be full AMD. AMD processor, AMD graphics card. So that way they can work in harmony. Plus the whole um, smart access memory sort of thing. What do they call it? I forgot. AMD has a different name for it, but it's basically smart access memory. Oh my, is he in bed? Is he sleeping? I'm gonna have to go wake his ass up to get things moving. No, oh, I'm a stormcloak, and I'm allowed to actually just walk through here. And if an assassin gets past the night watch, we won't have a yarl at all. Without Balgruf's leadership, Whitegun will descend into chaos. Nonsense. If Balgruf falls, someone will take his place, for better or worse. In the meantime, we have a war to win, and win it we must. Mm-hmm. Who's this guy? Talos guide you. I don't know. I don't remember you at all. Oh, Jarl Balgruf. Hmm. Wakey, wakey. What the? Who the hell's the kid? Who are you? Frothar. Oh, you're not even. A, you're not even asleep. I'm the Jarl, not a barkeep. Speak your business. All right. Jeez. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yeah, you heard right. It's the only way to stop the dragons. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? Threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Himself. Wait, how does he not know that already? How can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's my I'm Dragonborn. Maybe so, but I plan fighting. What about you? Oh, I could do that. No Nord could have said it better. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Oh, see, now he likes now me again. Nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace. It's not nonsense. You believe a word I say. Uh, it's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Do you think the Stormcloaks will sit idle while this dragon is slaughtering my men and burning down my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point mm. the bitterness has gone too deep maybe hmm. what are the greybeards they are respected by all nords Dude, i just came from I, there Hrothgar is neutral territory if the greybeards were willing to host a peace council Maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. General Tullius, that's it. Oh boy, leave that to me. I'll talk to Arangar about hosting a peace council. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Wait, um, I can already I can ask him this stuff. According to legend. Though 
I never thought to put the tale to the test. Well, we're about to. Jarl Olaf One Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor and brought it back to White Rock. Numenek was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? Yeah. Oh, I must have asked him this already. Next time, deal with Avanichi. Well, all right. I don't need the attitude, man. Standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the Stormcloak. I love how I'm a Stormcloak and they're not even like acknowledging that. I just think it's funny. Where's the music? What happened to the music? I haven't heard a single bit of music this whole time, I don't think. It pretty much glitched out when we started fighting Alduin. And it's never come back. This has happened before. Well, it was the other way around. The music wouldn't stop repeating the same like the same line or verse or whatever over and over and over again so now it's just gone it's a shame isn't it honestly i'm telling you i heard howling those werewolves tell the truth do you get to the oh shut up, shut up shut up shut up of course you don't oh, what am i saying what are you doing um Yeah, I do kind of feel bad for tearing this place apart. I always side with the Empire because I like to see White Run survive. I like Yarl Balgruf. He's like he's like an OG. But I had to well, I didn't have to, but I decided to choose a side. It would have happened eventually. Once I was done with the main story, I would have gone with the Storm Cloaks and tried that storyline out for once because I think I've only done it one other time and never really did anything after the Siege of Whiterun. I did that fight and that was about it. That was, of course, a completely different playthrough. But yeah, as of right now... My PS5 is more powerful than my gaming rig. How sad is that? Well, it has a similar CP... Well, I wouldn't say similar. I say similar in terms of, like, its core count um, to my gaming rig. It doesn't have nearly the GPU power that the PS5 has. PS5, I think, is 10 teraflops. My current GPU, 1660 Super, I think is four at best so maybe similar to the series s i can't believe this we walked all the way down here to talk to him for two seconds and now i have to go all the way back up to the top granted okay i'm just going to high rothgar but bro isn't there like a way oh that might be faster actually <clears throat> So if we go, oh wait, no, 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 hold on. What is this? That's Helgen. So if we go up and over here, I don't know where this goes from, but we go up and over here, we take this road, this cuts right through the mountain and we're at Iverstead almost immediately compared to going all the way around here, windy roads and everything. So yeah, let's go back to Riverwood and then take the back passage to get to Helgen. Let's do it. That'll be faster. I like this idea. It might not be faster by much, but it still looks like it'd be faster. Even if it means just a little bit.
So yeah, while I'm happy to see the GPU prices come down and the fact that I could just go to AMD's website and get one directly from them instead of having to go through a retailer, uh, that'd be great if I had $1,000. I don't have $1,000. I have money to buy a new bed and buy that uh, foldable dividing wall that I always wanted for the living room, but that's it. That was the plan. Get the new bed, get a bunch of stuff to storage, and make this into a proper bedroom slash studio. I just hope that my measurements are correct. Oh, for guys, you know I knew it. I knew it. Freaking cultists. Your little um, spell ward isn't going to stop me from whacking you in the head. This is what I hate about these casters. Oh, wrong button. They just keep doing this. They keep just running away. Punch him dead. Give me your money. Yeah, it seems like all the cultists are casters, which sucks. Where the oh, there he is. Kind of blend in with the dirt, cause that's what you are. Dirt. You and your brown robes. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that I could at least buy a graphics card directly from AMD, but I don't it's going to be a long time. I've never actually been able to afford a top-tier graphics card. There was one time I thought I did. I had bought a 5700 XT from Best Buy. But I got it home and it didn't work right. And that's when I was done buying XFX. That's when I decided to be done with the XFX. Why did the why did the music glitch? I just knew it. You know what it is? It's probably one of the mods. It ends up screwing up and then the music either repeats too much or it just breaks. And I'd like to say restarting the game might actually fix it, but I don't know. I don't know if that's what fixed it the last time. The last time this happened when it was repeating too much, I used the console command to try and fix it. And I'm not even sure if that worked. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Well, that intrigues me. I'm gonna ask you about that. Alva and I, we got a daughter. Little Dorothy. Never mind. You got no freaking conversational skills. I don't know why she immediately just went to that, though. Like, that was really aggressive. I'm spoken for, so don't get any ideas. She sounds like a modern woman. <laughs> she sounds like the modern-day American woman. How dare you look at me? Show me some respect. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to come up and ask you why you said that to me. Okay, I think... Um, yeah, okay, okay. We just follow this road here. And then we take a left. I still actually haven't upgraded this version to the anniversary edition. Anniversary? Yeah, I think it's the anniversary edition just because I don't want to pay that. I already own the game. I shouldn't have to. I don't think it's a free upgrade. I think 
I think you get up like the updates for free. So like on PlayStation, for example, I would get the 60 FPS update and stuff like that. But if you actually want to get the anniversary content, you have to pay for it, which is kind of scummy. I'm like, no, that's okay. Whoa, random Sprig or Atronach. Yeah, see, there's no, there's literally no music at all. Wow. Whack one and we're good to go. Ow. Must have been called in by that witch and then the, the Atronach just killed her. Let me take a left. Here we go. Here's the left. Man, I wish I had my horse. I ended up getting him killed. No, you know what? The last time, I didn't do it. Okay? He ran into combat for some reason. My horse thought he could help me, and he died anyway. Boy, oh boy. Did not think this episode was going to be a back and forth. Because now we got to go all the way back up to the freaking... To High Hrothgar... After we traveled all the way back down just to talk to the Jarl for two, literally two minutes. We talked to the guy for two freaking minutes. Like, what the hell? Now we got to run all the way back up? Rude. It's very rude. Now there's one mod that I actually think should be a necessity on this uh, this game and that's the open cities mod simply because and seriously I have, I have the view distance pushed all the way out and it's kind of insane look everything's all the way out and these are the same sliders that you would see in the settings if you go into steam Shadows are maxed out. I think the shadow distance, I think, is the thing. It's maxed out. And yet, I'm still seeing that it's fading in and whatnot. It's not great. It's not great. I'm kind of hoping the console version is a little bit better off. Like, maybe they've made some tweaks since this version. I mean, this version is whatever version's on the PC, which I'm assuming is the latest version for either of the systems, but <clears throat> it could be different. They might have made some adjustments to the console version. What the hell happened here? It's just a Khajiit caravan that got killed, I'm guessing. The tree, I mean, the trees look like they fell on them. But they have nothing on them. It's just their clothing. That's weird. The Khajiit are the, usually the merchants, so for them to have absolutely nothing on them is a bit odd. So, we go up and through this, and we're already in Iverstead. Way faster. sucks I literally said like one of the biggest things for this game that makes me feel nostalgic is the music and I'm the music has been glitched out yet again disappointing really this is why this is why I was really hesitant about mods I think if I was to choose any particular mods that I know would be fine it'd be the immersive armor and weapons mods like that's it because graphically the game didn't look terrible to begin with 
the special edition was updated with some decent mods put into the game. And then the Skyrim floor overhaul, while it's nice, isn't really necessary these days, anyway. And... Brotherhood. You guys keep trying and you keep losing more and more of your guys. I don't know what else to tell you. You guys are really stupid. <clears throat> because sometimes the graphical mods can cause an issue. I don't, I'm not saying that the, some one of the graphical mods is causing this issue with the shadows. I think it's always been that way in this game, but... It's not out of the realm of possibility that one of the mods might be causing some graphical errors. I mean, hell, I've had the game crash on me for no reason. That usually only happens when mods are involved. Oh. See, and then there's stuttering stuff like that, where I'm just like, uh, why did that stutter? What caused that? I'm assuming it's it was something loading, but you know that's I think that's a pretty safe assumption. Let's see, Iverstead is over this way. I think I'm gonna have to pause the recording again and restart the game, see if that fixes the music problem. I really hope it does, because the music makes a big difference with this game. For me, anyway. I don't know about you guys, but Jeremy Soul outdid himself with this one. So I think we'll, we'll get to the bridge. Okay. So I'll be back in just a second. All right. It fixed it. There you go. See? Sometimes it just takes a restart. Which I'm glad because this was getting really boring to literally be here no be hearing nothing. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the roads get dangerous. Getting dangerous? No, it is dangerous. Wilhelm said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims on the 7,000 steps. I told him that he was Wow, that sounded like a really controlling husband right there. Oh, there we go. We got some music to make the journey more bearable. I hope it doesn't glitch out again, I swear to God. I don't have any sound mods, by the way. There's no sound mods in the game. There's no adjustments to any ambient sounds or anything like that, as far as I remember. I'll have to take a look, but I'm pretty sure sound mods are not in my build right now. But who knows? I am surprised, though, that nobody's actually tried to put ray tracing in the game. Like They modded every, every freaking thing else. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Look at this. Why is why is there sunlight? I didn't I didn't notice this before, but why is there sunlight blasting through the rocks? That's a graphical error. Probably due to one of my mods, who knows? Maybe that's always been there. It's not correct, but it's there. Um Let's 
so. Yeah. Nobody's nobody's tried to do ray tracing. I could have swore somebody would have tried it by now, right? Like they've they've put EMBs in the game and everything to change up the literal look of the game. <clears throat> To make it more realistic or to make it more fantastical or whatever, but nobody's even tried to put ray tracing in the game yet. I don't even know if they will. Might be a bit too taxing. Maybe the engine's not capable of doing it. That might be why. <laughs> Creation engine is old as old could be. Now, the Creation 2 engine... That actually looks like it could be really good, but we'll have to see because I don't think they built it from the ground up. I think they just reworked the original engine to be better, hopefully. But I don't think that's going to get rid of the bugs. But then again, the bugs are kind of the charm of Bethesda games. Half the time, the bugs are basically a game in itself. Like... For example, I don't know if this is a bug or if this was intentional, but, you know, the the thing that happens when you get hit by a giant, he slams the ground and you go flying. I don't know if that's actually supposed to happen. <laughs> but they left it in the game. Even if it wasn't intentional, they left it in the game because it's funny. You just don't mess with the giants. And I mean Giants in the game, not the football team. The football team sucks. For that matter, actually, the baseball team isn't really that good. I could be wrong about the baseball team, though. I'm pretty sure they might actually be good this time around. But the football team absolutely is terrible. see what the temperature is outside. See, well, it's also raining. So, probably not wise to open my windows. It's 62 degrees out. But, that depends on whether or not the wind is even blowing. It may not be. Even though, on the windiest of days, my apartment does get the majority of the wind. I'd have to find out which way the wind is blowing, if it even is. And normally, when it's raining, some you know, normally, when it's raining, the wind is blowing. So, if it's not raining too hard, I might leave the windows open instead of uh, turning on the, the turning on the air conditioner, which I hate. Well, it keeps me cool at night. It's uh, annoying, very unpleasant to sleep on, uh, sleep with. That's why I gotta get my new bed ordered and get it here because then I can at least sleep in this room away from the air conditioner, but I can leave the door open, though I prefer to close the door. That would mean I'd need to get another air conditioner and put it in my room here. Smaller one, but still I would need to do it, and that's not really something I'm looking to do. But to be fair, I am pushing the air conditioner I have to pretty much its limits. It's not really built to fill up an entire 700 square foot-ish apartment. 
It's not it's not big enough for that. Aldrin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Mm, not exactly. Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal of for, the portals of Sovereign Guard. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Yar Balgruf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Arthanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to me. We will see if they still remember us. Oh, I gotta ask him a whole bunch of stuff. The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkor. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hawk Castle. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery. Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill. Oof, that is powerful. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneri at the dawn of time. It <clears throat> gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship true mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to Okay. Sky, guard your post. Okay, looks like we're traveling back down. Oh my god, we're just going up and down this mountain, man. Can you imagine hoofing it for real? Where am I? Oh, I remember this, though. We come into here. We come into here, and I sat, like, right here or something. And we just talked about this whole situation. I remember that. Where the hell did I come from? Over here? I do, I do, I do, I do. I remember that happening. In the PS3 version, when I actually finished it the first time. My first officially finished playthrough. I think I went the wrong way. I am an idiot. Back down the mountain. Oh, man. Well, might as well actually. It'll probably take me like, I don't know what, five ish or ten minutes to get down the mountain. So I think we're actually going to uh, end, oh, end it here for now. Yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. So, we're going to be on our way to talk to 
General Tullius and Jarl Ulfric to bring them together for peace until Alduin is slain. But that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And please join me again in the next one where we will do just that. Bring the warring parties together for a time of peace while we deal with the dragon situation, the dragon threat. But until then, I'm Adam Wolf. This is Skyrim. And I'll see you guys later. Mm-hmm.